shenanigans. Yeah, having a problem. Is that the outro? It's after the outro. It's about six o'clock in the morning. I wake up early. Even on a bad day, I think I wake up early. Fibromyalgia, you don't sleep much. Um, but I wanted to show you that I'm that this candle holder is also multi-purpose. You got when you have something this big in an RV, it has to serve two purposes. And I also whoop, I'm not looking. It's my tea holder. <laughs> See that? It's a little dark. But I don't like to turn lights on in the morning. And my quiet time, I make tea, and not always. I don't wake up and want to get caffeinated. But I just thought that was cool looking. Let me see if I can turn that light on for a second. Whoa, there we go. Okay, for just a second. And it does keep it warm. The flame's a little bit higher than it normally is, I think. I let it get down to it's kind of simmering. But yeah, a little tea warmer. <laughs> very, very inventive. I wouldn't call this amazing, but um, it's still cool. I just use it as a teacup holder. Sometimes it's in this corner, hanging on here. And I'm very bumpy. So I uh, don't like to knock my tea over. I've done that a few times. So having it over in this corner when I'm working and working on my computer, it's a, it's, it's a very safe RV Joey kind of thing. I keep adapting this backpack to things that are bumpy friendly. Enough. I'm going to have my tea in quiet time. And see, there is gaps. See the gaps? So it's not like I'm trapping. There's plenty of uh, air, air, hot airflow right there. Can't really see it with the light on. Otherwise, the candle will just go out. Although there's, there's air coming in a little bit down there. So it's really quite perfect. So maybe this is amazing. I just can't tell it's too early. Just talk about it. <laughs> the other thing I really like is that this is blocking that. And that's way too bright even to stare at in the morning. So when I'm sitting here quieting my mind, I get the reflective light, the soft light. And my tea is always hot. I mean, come on pretty cool you, you gotta admit right admit it I'm right have a good morning I just love the sun coming in and I put my water in the sun so it gets charged I don't know how much energy you get from the sun when it's passing through glass I know there's something about that so it's not getting something at least at least it looks pretty. Gotta go. Well, it's shower day. Change clothes. It's been three days, so I'm right on schedule. Gonna go finish doing some things, go grocery shopping. Today's Saturday, tomorrow's Sunday. It's gonna be super windy. And that will be more of my indoor day. Maybe I'll prep some vegetables and things like that and get some things ready. Um, but yeah, so the, I'm going to go out to the van build on Monday. I'm going to go. I'm going to go shower and do all that stuff. $2 showers at La Paz. I'm sure most of you know that by now. And my tea still hot to the last drop. Can you see the steam in the black? to the last drop with my invention yeah my daily invention you'll invent things every day when you're living in an RV because you got to find new ways new spots 
and off-grid sort of less energy things. That's the fun of it. It's really a lot of fun. Come on down. Well, before I take a shower, I realized that I can park down here for the day when you get a day pass. Or if you're a resident, it's free if you have a voter's registration. Um, and let me show you this area. This beach is empty. There's nothing like the sound of water when you're in the desert. This reminds me, look how clear that is too. Reminds me of Lake Superior. just turn my RV sideways and have the door facing us all day. La Paz County Park with some very nice rigs. It's a very nice area. Hat season, it's over. It's over. It's, it's, it's over for a little while. Not for good. It will return with thunder and lightning. So, uh, yeah. And I'm just done. I am done with those hats. They are put away safely, I'm sure somewhere. All of them. I'm done. I don't even know where they are. Look who just drove by me, open road, Terry and Scott. I think they're trying to get into the beach, but it's a special event. We'll see if they get in. Oh, looks like they got turned away. Trying to sneak into the concert, yeah. you, you scammers! <laughs> trying to dump our toilets. Yeah, trying to find where the. But you, I guess there's a different way to get in. Yeah, but can you dump down there? We don't know. I don't know. No, that says no dumping. Oh, they don't even want to let you pay. I don't. I think it's twenty-seven for a night or something. Oh, and so it would be all. So it's included. only ten dollars at La Paz. Okay, that's where we're heading. But I was like, I remember the thing down there. Yeah. No, we're broke down. What? what? She broke down. We came back from La Paz yesterday, and I think it's just an alternator belt, so I'm going to post a video on YouTube and ask people to. Um, she's going to try and get it fixed on Monday, which is Veterans Day or Tuesday, so it's going to delay me coming oh. out there. Unless you want to kidnap me and take me. <laughs> I'm sure people would donate. Yeah. Um, where, where's the rig at? Yeah. On the other side of you? On the other side. Wait, who is it? It's my friend, Laura. She's oh, a, an anonymous. No, no one ever has. You never will. <laughs> She's just my, she's my vanny, my, my, uh, she's my friend. I camped with her a lot last year. The, the, do you think it's the alternator or the belt or something? The belt, because of the way it's acting. But that's two women who know nothing Here, about ninjas. Oh, well, I don't have the key. Oh. 